What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Hollywood Code 85, giving you the latest review. And I'm going to do a little something different today. I'm going to do console review. Um, obviously, I don't have the time to do the video and stuff, show you the co graphics comparisons and all that, but um, we're going to let this work. Now, obviously, you notice my Xbox One and my PS4 are both decked out with some skins. I did go on Amazon and I purchased both of these probably like nine dollars each. So you got a Deadpool Xbox one and you have the Joker PS4 man. I think it's dope You know, man, I can't wait to eventually move in the house and I can have these decked out a little bit more because I got the PS4 in the bedroom and the Xbox one in the living room So that's how it works and I do have to connect for both and they did come with skins for those um About the same so we'll get into consoles real quick. I won't get into detail about everything, but I'm going to give you my preference of which one I think is better, if there is a such thing as one being better. Um, just give you overall what I think about both consoles. And for starters, we can just look at the models. Um, you see the PS4, a lot smaller. It seems to be a little bit heavier to me. I don't know, maybe you guys can agree with that. Um, the Xbox One is obviously bigger, it looks like a VCR. Um, that was the biggest, I guess, rip about that as well. People made fun of that. Um, your controllers are standard size controllers, which we'll get into that. Um, we got the Xbox One controller, similar to the Xbox 360 controller. This one does have some rubber backing. Um, you can see the triggers. Still has the left trigger, right trigger, left bumper, right bumper. Select button is still right there. Start button. You got your two analogs, your D-pad, etc., etc. And then of course we go to the PlayStation 4 controller and it is decked out so you notice the PlayStation 4 controller the difference is it does have a share button now which is right there it does have a share button also um, the options buttons on the um, right side still the same layout with the um, triangle x square circle and the d-pad the analog sticks now a little bit down further I guess I'm not for sure it has a speaker on this controller which right there where Joker's nose is that there's a speaker so um, that's pretty unique. Um, still has the D-pad triggers. And this controller does light up. I don't know if the controller is charged or not. Yeah, see, you notice that it lights up. It probably go off in a second. I need to charge it. But it lights up, which is pretty cool. You can buy one of those decal things, I guess, and have a logo on it. It does take, both of them do take USB charger. Um, now, getting into the controllers real quick. Personally, for me, I do like the Xbox controller because I do play my Xbox more, but I will say the PS4 controller does have more functionality. Um, the only issue I have with the PS4 controller, honestly, is the battery life. Like, I've been told that you can like, turn down the light volume on the, on the battery or whatever it is, turn down the light brightness or whatever it's called. It doesn't help. I can play a game for like an hour, an hour and a half, and next thing you know, this controller is like dead. Other than that, I mean, it's an amazing controller. I like the Xbox controller. It seems like to me the bigger controller has a better feel to it for me. Um, I will say for certain games though, I think more of the fighting games are better for the PS4 controller. The Xbox controller is probably better for shooters. Um, it could be vice versa for a lot of people. Uh, or I think some of the sports games personally for me, I would rather play on the Xbox controller. Um, man, that's that's what those controls are about. The headsets are pretty much the same. As far as like the uses of the headsets, I think the they both take the little 3.5 or if you have a specialized mic for them, get one for both. Um, you know, it's Turtle Beach, Astro, a lot of different headsets. Now to the consoles itself, and I'm going to move these controls out the way real quick. We do have the Xbox console. And of course the PS4 console. Personally for me, I like the Xbox console. I'm not for sure. Maybe I can look at this real quick myself. One thing I did notice about the Xbox console that I did like, um, I don't know if it has more USB inputs. I think this one has two. Yeah, this one has two. I think the Xbox has three, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so more X, more USB stuff, obviously, because we're going to need hard drive space. Both of these are 500 gig, man. I, I'm already out on my Xbox. PS4, I'm probably dead out on that, too. Um... Xbox just is it's real bulky, man. As far as like the power cords, the connect itself, it's just everything is so bulky, and I think that could be an issue with a lot of people. I don't really care about it, but it is a little too bulky. I mean, players for the camera is small, the plugs are small, everything is small, so it gives you more opportunity space to do more with it. Um, 
Now we can talk about the systems overall. I won't get into the graphics about the hard drive space. Oh, not the hard drive space. The the power, the the the, the systems or whatever. I'm just gonna talk about the system itself. Uh, I don't know, man. Personally, for me, I like both of them. Um, now that I do have a PS4, I finally got a PS4 this year. I had an Xbox One since day one. I've always liked the Xbox because of online, which I'll get into that later. But um, as far as like the systems go, man, I will say this. Playing the system, as far as the dashboard, the navigation, I would have to go Xbox. I mean, we all know Xbox makes a big deal about their online play. Um, it's just so much you could do on the Xbox, man. I mean, I know there's a lot you could do on Xbox, but, I mean, on PlayStation, I'm sorry, but Xbox just has so much going on. And I just think that, man, it's really cool what they're doing with the with their, you know, Xbox Live. I mean, don't get me wrong, PlayStation Plus has its perks too, which, you know, both systems do get free games a month, and lately the games have been, eh, a little weak. But other than that, I mean, I, I prefer the Xbox dashboard. It gives you more opportunity to do more. It has more on there. It seems like, it, to me personally, maybe because I'm used to using it, it's easier to navigate. Um, far as the systems go, man, graphics-wise, I know that's something that everybody wants to use in the argument saying PlayStation 4 has better graphics. To me personally, if you got 720p TV, I don't think it matters. Now, I do have a 1080 in both living room and bedroom. One is a plasma, one is an LED. Um, I do notice on my LED, the Xbox seems to look better than the PS4, which is weird. But on my plasma, you know, my PlayStation 4 would look better than my Xbox One, maybe because of the refresh rate. Um, other than that, comparing the games to each other, I mean, it's like night and day. I mean, I've seen comparison videos and I played certain games on both consoles. Nothing has changed. Now, one feature I think that does separate these two systems, and I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you don't really need the old console. Just keep your old console. I'm going to say Xbox has an edge because of the backwards compatibility. And I know that's something that some people are like, well, you just keep your old systems. But to me personally, man, I think it's just cool that I can plug in my, I don't have to worry about plugging in my old 360. I can just put in my Xbox 360 game that is available. For instance, this week, Black Ops 1 drop. I mean, think about this, man. I can take my old Black Ops 1, plug it in, everything's good to go. Don't have to worry about plugging in a system or turn off this system, get on this system. PS4 doesn't have backwards compatibility. Now, you can buy the older games on PlayStation Plus, but man, everybody likes it. Me, personally, as a gamer, I love to have disc. I'm not really big on digital, although I have a lot of digital games that's going around. I love to have a disc and show my gaming inventory to people and stuff. So, to me, personally, Xbox One with that, on that part. Um, I do like the idea that you can rent games on PlayStation Plus. I mean, I know it sounds crazy paying $7 for a week, but man, I remember like when Injustice 4 became, I guess, free on some kind of version of that PlayStation Plus. I was renting the game. And I beat it like in a week. So for me to rent the game and play it, it was pretty cool. I thought that was cool. Xbox doesn't offer anything like that that I know of. I could be wrong, so someone correct me. Um, Xbox Live versus PS, PlayStation Plus, I'm sorry. Uh, it just depends on how you look at it. Uh, me personally, uh, Xbox Live has always been more advanced. Um, I know both of them now have party chat, but like Xbox has been, you know, they have always had party chat, even on the 360. I think it's up to 10 players now. Uh, I mean, the PlayStation may be 10 players or maybe 8 players. I'm not for sure. But, you know, both of them offer party chat. Um, it's just more advancement, man, with the Xbox because they seem to do more and they add more. I know they're adding that Cortana deal to it pretty soon, so we'll see how that goes. I know PlayStation has their version of the Kinect sensor where they you can talk to it and tell them the Xbox can send. You know, their, their sensor is pretty cool, too. I do like the share button because... To me, it's easy to click in the home button twice and press a Y on Xbox do a screenshot. Then on PlayStation, you just hit the share button on the controller. So I think PlayStation does have that part simplistic and better. Um, far as like sound and like, you know, just how it runs, I think the PlayStation may run a little bit smoother. Um, I know I don't know, maybe it's my Xbox too, but it does sound a little rough sometimes. But the PlayStation just runs really smooth. Um, it doesn't get as hot either. I notice. I mean, my Xbox gets hot. Maybe because I got my Xbox under a console. Not inside of a console, but like under like a glass table where it's in the open still. But yeah, it gets a little hot. One feature I do like that the Xbox has. I know PlayStation has their version of this TV deal now. But I like the watch, like the, the Snap TV app 
or the Snap TV feature, I'm sorry, on the Xbox One, where you can snap the TV and you can play the video game at the same time. And I know somebody's going to say, why would you want to watch TV and play the video game at the same time? I mean, look, dude, last night's a good example. Black Ops 1 came out. I'm playing Black Ops 1. I'm watching Cleveland play, you know, Toronto. Obviously, they blew them out. That's another story. But, you know, just for me to be able to do that at once, that's pretty cool. Um, one thing I think both systems don't have, which I wish they did, maybe I need to be correct on this, someone leave a comment, but the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One don't allow you to play your music at the same time as playing your game. And I remember on the old systems, you can always play your music at the same time. I thought that was really dope. I would love to do that. Um, maybe they both do something about that. So, um, other than that, man, like I said, to me, I don't think there's a better system. I think it's all about preference. If you had the 360, get your Xbox One. If you had the PS3, get your PS4. Now, to me personally, I had to get both. Eventually, I had to get both. I just want to be the, have the best of both worlds. Um, I don't like the console wars because to me, there's no like ending to that. Because you can say because PlayStation 4 has better sales than the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4 is automatically better, which I think is incorrect. Because I think that a lot of times when the price point was cheaper at $299 versus $399, Yes, everybody opted out to go to a PS4. Also, you know, the DRM thing, I think, it, what was it called? Whether you had to, like, be online in order to play the game. It kind of threw off a lot of people from Xbox One. And when Xbox One changed, it was a little too late. Um, I just think that, man, both systems offer great qualities, great features. You know, obviously, both have Blu-ray players, things like that. Um, I just don't know which one will be better. I don't think there's such a thing as better. I think one offers something, the other one doesn't. And I think one offers another, the, you know, the other console doesn't. So I think at the end of the day, whatever choice you make, you made the right choice. Um, cause one, cause like a good example would be this: PlayStation may offer something better for its hardware, but Xbox may have the better software for its like the navigation, the dashboard, the features on it. You know, so things like that. Now, to me personally, I wish they both would just smash them together and make one system, but you know that's never going to happen. Um, I'm excited for E3. Um, hopefully we get more backwards compatibility games. And I think that to me, if I had to take one glaring feature away from both of these systems, the Xbox One having backwards compatibility to me is like really big. And I don't know why, but to me as a gamer, I love retro games. Um, I can play Left 4 Dead 2 right now on my Xbox One without even having to touch my Xbox 360. I mean, it almost allows you to eliminate having like 8,000 consoles. Now every game, of course, is not backwards compatibility yet, but they are listening. Xbox seems to listen to their fans. Because the fans wanted Black Ops 1. They wanted Left 4 Dead. We may get Red Dead Redemption back was crowded with it. They wanted these games and Xbox seems to supply the games. Um, I, both, I wish both consoles would work on the games for gold. Um, yeah, it's been really light on these games for gold and the PlayStation free games for a month. Uh, a lot of indie games, a lot of weird games have been coming out. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a verdict on that because, like I said, I play a lot of different games. Uh, I'm more into the mainstream. The indie games, I'm not too familiar with. Maybe someone can... Hook me up and let me know what those are about. But, I mean, like, they're not really giving away anything for free. Um, I do like some of the discounts both systems are giving for games right now. Um, last but not least, I guess we can go into maybe the the overall, like, I could say the longevity of the systems. Um, I remember when the PlayStation 4 had dropped, a lot of people complained about how the PlayStation 4 disk drive didn't work. Well, guess what? On my Xbox One, the same thing happened. My disk drive quit working. I had to get another Xbox One. Luckily, I bought a GameStop warranty. Shout out to GameStop. You know, I got a warranty, and um, they replaced the same day. So, you know, I don't know for us, like, longevity of the systems because we haven't had these systems maybe for four years now, five years. So, I don't know what the actual lifespan of these systems going to be. Maybe we'll find out something down the road, which one lasts longer. But as of right now, I mean, they're both pretty much even on that behalf. Um, once again, as you see my Xbox One, they both have different skins. Um... I tried to make it unique because they're both black. Um, I do need to work on my Joker one once more again because it's coming off on the side right here a little bit. But other than that, it looks pretty good. I think I did a good job with it. Just something unique. But um, definitely, if you're listening to this, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you didn't like or liked about this video. I didn't want to go into all the specs and stuff like that because there's a lot of videos like that. I'm just giving you my personal preference. If you do have either or these systems, be sure to add me on Xbox Live or PlayStation Plus or PS4 at Hollywood Code 85. That's H O L L Y W O O D C O L D 85. I'll add you back. Just let me know that you was watching the video and you saw the video, and um, we can get some games in, man. Just let me know what you got, man. If I don't have it, trust me, I'll go buy it quickly. 
if I had to buy it digitally, which I don't want to do, but I'll do it. So that was just a quick review real quick of the Xbox One versus the PS4. Me personally, I don't think there's a better. Um, I think both of them offer great things and they lack a lot of things. So to me, I think that they could both get better. Um, hopefully they do. They listen to the fans and that's it. Peace.